about a year and a half ago, I made a video on a model I did to the, my Walker WM180 lathe. Uh, now, and a rather a long title, this video, it was the Walker WM180 lathe, cheap, easy and quick, single axis DRO mod. And basically I used one of these uh, cheap digital cameras from Banggood. You pick the, then you could pick these up for less than 10 pounds. And I made a small uh, right angled bracket of aluminium and the caliper was fixed to that bracket there. And then I made another small right angled bracket which bolted to the thread cutting wheel here. And then the end of the caliper was clamped to that bracket. And this worked very well. I, I, I used this for some time, but I found when I didn't need this, even though I could disconnect it from here, it still got in the way here. And, and in the end, I got annoyed with it, like I do with these sort of things, and basically removed it, which was then, and, and because I'm a lazy bugger, <laughs> when I did need it, I couldn't be asked to connect it all back up again. So, you know, I was, I've been thinking, scratching my head about an, another way of doing this, which would be you know, temporary, so that I could just fit it when I wanted to and take it off when I didn't need it. So, what I came up with was equally simple. However, this is not a digital caliper. This is a, um, they call these digital parallel marking gauges. And there's a little uh, blade on the end here. And normally it would have a plate bolted onto, onto this face here, which this one, I've obviously removed it because I don't need that plate. But what, what, uh, what, what I've done with this is I've basically, how well that will come out on the camera, but I've basically got a small block of mild steel. I've milled a slot in it to take these very small, flat, rare earth magnets. I've glued them in place using a very thin film on the underside of chemical metal, but you could just as easily use um, any of the modern metal epoxies would work absolutely fine. So that now has got a magnetic back to it. So basically I can then clamp this and it's really, they're really powerful these. So you clamp it onto the ways like that. I'll bring you in a little bit closer. So you can see what's going on. So we're in a bit closer now. And then on the carriage here, just here where my, my finger is, that's another one of those same very small flat rare earth magnets you can pick these up off of ebay for like next to nothing and that's just on the carriage there so then when you bring the carriage up to the end of let's unlock it let's get that out of the way so you can see it that's the only problem is <laughs> the carriage lock lever does get in the way but <clears throat> let me pull it that way a little bit so basically when you bring this up here that then comes into contact with the magnet on the carriage, let's pull this out of the way a bit. And now that will move back and forth with the carriage. Let's come back out so you can see that a bit better. There you go. Now, obviously, you can position this anywhere on, on, on the carriage, which is great because my original one, this one, was obviously fixed, so I only had the maximum uh, distance that, that was available here, and it didn't really go far enough towards the, the uh, headstock. But with this, I can obviously just um, move that further down the carriage if I need to get it closer to this end. But that works really well. And, e and even though there's only a little, this is only a little tiny magnet here on the carriage, it's more than enough to hold the end of the scale against the carriage it doesn't come away so as you can see that works pretty damn well and this is much like these uh, these uh, digital calipers it has exactly the same kind of uh, ability so you can switch between millimeters inches and fractions which is great you can zero out wherever you like and then obviously you've got a power on off button as well but the beauty of this system, of course, is that it's easy enough to detach this from there. You just you can just wind this up to its stop and it will pull off. There we go. So that's now free. And then this just, it's actually very strong, these magnets. will come off of there like that. 
and then you just move it out of the way. It's much more convenient than the original method that I did. So anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. These are a bit more expensive to buy than, than these. These are still only cost about, I think, 10 or 12 pounds in the in UK money. Whereas the um, these digital marking gauges, they're about 35 pounds, I think. I'll put a link in the description to the one that I got. Um, so they are a little bit dearer. Yeah, very, again, it's very quick and easy to do. I mean, you know, you, you don't need to go to the hassle of, you know, if you don't have a miller machine, obviously you can't mill out a slot in a piece of um, a mild steel. And you don't really need to do that. You could simply use a, a, a square bit of mild steel and glue these straight onto the face of it. But I, I just like the idea of putting these into a slot. And obviously I have my little Sherline mill, so I was able to do that. And again, I used um, chemical metal to glue it to the back of the... Uh, uh, of, of the actual digital marking gauge. But um, yeah, I thought that was a, a pretty neat, simple, easy way of giving yourself a uh, single axis DRO on the Walker WM180 lathe. Well, I mean, obviously you can do this on any lathe. It doesn't have to be a, a Walco. <laughs> you know, it would work pretty well on, on pretty much any given lathe. Um, and I believe you can get these in larger, I mean, this is 150 mil uh, to tra travel on this, this thing. But I think you can get these in larger, sizes but again obviously you have to pay more money so anyway thanks for watching hope this was useful cheers